I moved to China in 2006 and I've been working there focusing mainly on environmental issues in China for the past five years. And it's become increasingly difficult for independent reporters, independent photographers to pursue long-term work. I've been lucky because I've been collaborating with the Pulitzer Center on Crisis Reporting. This backing has been crucial. My first collaboration with the Asia Society came in in 2008 with a multimedia piece that was related to Beijing's air quality just before the uh, 2008 Olympics. The huge physical changes in the city, especially in Beijing, were just starting to take place. And over the past five years, um, the country just seems to be changing before my eyes. And so in 2011, we uh, began the collaboration focusing on China's wetlands, bringing this together into a seven-part multimedia series on the China Green website. The state of the environment in China, I think, is quite bad. From increasing desertification in the north and northwest, the wetlands of China, which have been virtually obliterated, to rising temperatures on the Tibetan Plateau related to climate change, and biodiversity, which is also in an incredibly bad state in China, with many, many species um, disappearing across the country. And this is all related to China's development over the past 50, 60 years. China is using up many resources from other countries, from Mongolia, uh, Siberia, northern Russia, Southeast Asia. Their issues are affecting everybody, and they're incredibly important as we realize our, our impact um, that we're having uh, on, our, uh, on our ecosystems and on biodiversity. Desertification, for example, is not only occurring in China, it's affecting uh, North Africa, uh, Australia, many other countries. Wetland disappearances has happened uh, across the world over the past 50, 60 years. I photographed the giant panda, the Chinese alligator, red crown crane, a diverse mix of animal species, all of which are being pushed to the brink of extinction, they're endangered now. So what I've tried to do is to go into some uh, universities and try to slowly start to try to increase the awareness of the, the real state of biodiversity of China's ecosystems. There is an awareness, certainly amongst, uh, amongst those in government, that um, for example, water shortages in the north are a severe problem. The south-north water diversion project is well underway, and this is an incredible um, engineering feat aimed at trying to sort out some of the uh, problems that they're facing. However, I think the general awareness in China amongst the everyday Chinese person is still very, very low compared to, say, in the West. The majority of Chinese people's priorities are still in other places. A car, an apartment, a, a higher education for their children. These are the main goals for the majority of Chinese people. Once those things have been acquired, then people's attention tends to start to switch to things like the environment. More and more Chinese uh, NGOs are starting up. However, they have their own um, challenges in their relation to um, working with the authorities. Unfortunately, for, for many of the ecosystems in China and, and the biodiversity, many of the animal species, it's coming a little bit too late and many species have already been pushed to the brink of extinction. And I hope with my work, I can start to do my small part in helping people really become more aware of the real situation. Because if they're not aware of the reality on the ground, then eventually it will become too late. And suddenly people will be incredibly surprised that we have none of these animals left in the wild in China, or the state of the ecosystems have been so degraded. Because these are issues which are slowly appearing. They're not natural disasters that happen in an instant, in a day, in a few hours. Um, these are issues which creep up on people. I think through my long-term commitment to documenting China, I think I can help tell stories better, help people understand China better, uh, which is my ultimate goal.